You can also do the same thing for an audio region. So I can go right here, go to hold down option, I'm going to double click on this region, and now a window opens up. And you can see right here, right above it, within this timeline, we have that region highlighted right here. See it? But it looks a little small right here. It looks pretty small here in the actual main window. So just like on the main window within Logic, on this one that opened up, I have my vertical zoom. So I can actually pull the vertical zoom way up there, get a better look at it, and I can squash it down or get it tighter. And now I can see where I'm really at right here. Right? You can see it much better. So before, where was I? I don't know. So now you can see where you are. And we can see this section right here. And this is where I'm at. So it's a great way to pull up that window separately. And I can edit this audio window, this audio sample in the window, audio window, and get a better view of what I'm editing. And I can see what's going on. So I can hold down option. I can select a MIDI region or an audio region. And I can open them up in a window. But you'll notice here that we do not see an open audio editor, right? So, if I go to Preferences here, select Preferences, I'm going to go to Advanced Tools. Here, we have Audio. I select this. Now, this enables the destructive audio editing and advanced configuration options for audio editing. Okay, so I'll just close this up now. And then we'll go back here to the window. And now we see it here, Open Audio File Editor. So I can go to here, select that up, open the window, and it opens it for the file. If I want to see it, of course, I may have to just drag this in, expand it out further, and I'll be able to see that audio section, which is right there. Let's close the window. Now, one window I like to use a lot is my event list window. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to look for that, and that should be the event list right here, which is Command-7, and we see it right here. Now, I can click up one here, and now we can see the events from where the playback head is at. So if I move the playback head, you'll notice it move across this page here, right down as I move across the timeline with the playback head you can see where it's at in my event list. And so this is every track here in the list. And it shows you what event is happening at that specific location of the playhead. And I can also go here and say that it's a MIDI file right here. And once I do this MIDI region, which is the piano suitcase seat right there, I select this one, I select that one, you'll see now it populates with all the notes the quantized value, and other information about that specific MIDI region. So this is really cool. If I go to audio, we see nothing. Of course, I, this is an event list, but we do see where that this audio file is at, that this uh, guitar hits is at, and it's right there. I go to piano suitcase, and this is the electric piano suitcase roads, and I can scroll up and down here, and I can select an event. Well, this event, as I do, we'll hear it back. I can also click in here and change the note if I want to. This is a cool way to actually edit information for that particular MIDI region. Or I can go back here, click the arrow here, the leave folder up here, and I'm one level back up. I'm looking at every single part of every track at the playhead in my event list.